Hi everyone, welcome to my Phuket vlog 2017. This summer, a group of my friends and I decided to go all the way to Phuket, Thailand to celebrate the end of our finals. It was certainly a really eventful trip, so join us as we bring you along our trip to Phuket. It was a much needed break after a gruesome semester at university and all of us couldn't wait to meet at the airport before flying off for the first time together all the way to Phuket, Thailand. So we took our Jetstar Airlines flight and it was a great flight with excellent service from the staff and before we knew it, we already landed up in Phuket International Airport. From there, we took a very happening minivan all the way to our resort at Patong and it was a one-hour journey filled with Bollywood songs. And just like that, one hour passed in a jiffy and we landed in our private villa with a private swimming pool. But we didn't waste any time. We head out immediately to try some of the delicious and scrumptious food that Phuket had to offer to us. Just take a look. Not only was the food good, but the dessert there was to die for. Look at how they make this rolled ice cream fresh from condensed milk and any ingredients that you choose. After a scrumptious dinner and spending some time exploring the streets of Phuket, we decided to head back home to our villa and get ready for the eventful day ahead. Day 2 was certainly a very cultural day as we spent most of it temple hopping and visiting some scenic viewpoints in Phuket. Our first stop involved seeing many of the very majestic temples in Phuket that happened to be all clustered together. But of course, along with the culture and religion, we managed to take some nice photos that you can find on our Facebook profile. And of course, enjoyed some of the fresh coconuts that Phuket had to give us. After that, we headed off to our next point, which was the Big Buddha. The breathtaking monument that stood on top of a mountain was certainly something that I could not take my eyes off. And of course, I couldn't take my eyes off the view as well. But the view didn't stop there because next we head out to Kata viewpoint with a majestic view of the sea. And here you can see the boys having some fun. Which extended all the way back to our villa where they were chilling on the bed together. And you can see someone getting a little bullied over here by his friends. But don't worry, all is well. On day 3, a few of us decided to go island hopping to PP Islands and we saw some beautiful beaches. Despite the bad weather on the later half of the day, we managed to have some great fun. On day 4, we decided to take it slow and enjoy some rest and relaxation, so we absorbed whatever the island had to offer to us. Which included dipping our feet in the pool and the fish spa, which my too was very ticklish. And here I have a close-up view of the fish nibbling on my feet. It's not as disgusting as it looks, it actually feels pretty good. And with that and other r, &R activities, we came to the end of our trip. It was amazing. See you soon, Phuket!